Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Alex with you here as usual. Thank you for dropping by for yet another chess video. It's always great to see you guys. In this video, I am super excited because I will be showing you guys this Venture Board Roll Up Travel Chess Set. A really unique idea in my opinion. Um, interesting construction as you guys will see in a second. But before I get started, I do want to kind of apologize for not having posted in a while. It seems like when I'm used to posting a couple of videos a week and then I'm not posting for several weeks, it seems to me like it's uh, forever in a day since I've posted any video. Um, simply because, well, for one, I was kind of sick, had had headaches, I'm not sure why, but, uh, and for a second reason, I didn't really have any new products to show you guys and I just feel like, for especially for my returning viewers that have seen pretty much most of my videos, I feel like it would be an injustice for me to re-show you guys chess sets that I've already shown you guys um, so but of course if you if there's a chess set that you want me to show you guys again or revisit be sure to comment below let me know and I could either make a short or <clears throat> make another video addressing some of the questions okay <clears throat> so let me take a look this chess set here which retails for approximately more or less about $50 has been advertised on a lot of the web pages I go to as like the world's best travel chess set um just designed for your adventure so if you call something world's best which i've seen that being used as sort of more or less like an advertising gimmick like world's best chess set or i have this place that i often pass by in indiana it's called a, a nice restaurant and uh, it would seem like it's kind of a weird name to call something a nice restaurant but if let's I mean let's assume somebody's online and they're kind of hungry and they're like I'm gonna Google a, a nice restaurant somewhere to eat and then a nice restaurant will pop up or if somebody's googling world's best chess set they're gonna actually come up first thing on the world's best chess set same same kind of here I, I feel like it's uh, if you call something world's best it's always a good I guess advertisement strategy uh, so this this product's designed in Seattle and manufactured in China. Patent pending. As we will see here shortly, it's kind of a unique roll-up product with magnetic chess pieces that allows you basically to be able to roll up your board into this more or less cylindrical shape. And then you can unroll it anywhere you go, hoping that all the pieces actually, due to their strong magnetic pull, will remain exactly where they're at, which is kind of cool. Their online advertisement is kind of wonky a little bit, in my opinion. It's it's unusual, but they, they have these two men on the grass that are basically like playing a game, and then they roll the chess set up and like roll it across the grass to each other, which is definitely not the way that most people play chess but it's unusual and probably is geared more towards people looking for unusual things as opposed to actually playing a serious game retailing for approximately fifty dollars i feel like this chess set could be a, a relatively nice unique gift idea for somebody especially for people that are kind of out of ideas and are looking for a last minute gift to somebody maybe who is uh who enjoys chess and also for the people who likes adventures. Now this video is not being sponsored by any company. I'm not affiliated with them. I just purchased this because I saw the advertisement creep up like every day when I was looking for other chess sets and I figured if this company is spending so much money on advertisement then uh, why not why not buy it and make it a review because there's going to be people out there that will be probably looking for reviews so so I'm going to bring my camera a little bit closer here and we're going to open this up and I'll show you guys the contents and kind of talk a little bit more at length about this chess set okay so this is the venture board there's two different varieties available one's going to come in this sort of a orange and dark squares the other one will come in like gray basically without any additional colors i figured i'd buy the orange one just because it did look a little bit more aesthetic you open up this box kind of like this the box is made in this hexagonal i guess cylindrical shape here on the inside is the chess set there's nothing more in the box so i the packaging is made to be really compact and the box itself is kind of really sturdy like i said it's it's a perfect uh, shape and size for a gift for somebody, whether it's a, like a Christmas gift or maybe like an additional gift for a birthday or something, just because 
the packaging is made to kind of be really nicely wrappable, I guess. So really cool. Uh, it contains it contains it says here magnetic small parts, not intended for children under three years old. Also, it says for two players, two players, fourteen and up. Contents: You get one chessboard, thirty-six pieces. So you get uh, additional two queens and also additional two pieces that have no designation as we'll see here in a second in case you lose a piece it comes with this additional little um pieces here that like in case you lose one piece you can always take this little sticker unstick it and put it on one of the extra pieces which is actually very thoughtful of them and then you get a, a carrying sack here sticker pack yeah so chest set designed for your adventure it's kind of cool so there's the box you can get the option of having the engravings done as I've done it here for like an additional two dollars or something like that. It, it really didn't seem like it was necessary to do, but you see like right over here and here, you get the rook, the pawn, the king, the queen, king, queen, uh, pawn, rook, bishop, knight, knight, bishop. So you can get these engraved i guess they engrave it with like a laser or something or if you want to save a couple of dollars you can just get it without the engraving um there's a middle portion right here that has this sort of indentation right down the middle and you just sort of uh apply a little bit of side opening pressure to it and then you open up your chest set i'm going to probably i don't know if it's visible enough for you guys but i, I might lower my camera so you guys can see a little bit closer in addition to the chest set itself, you also get this carrying pouch um, and that will allow you to package this chest set nicely. And then on top it has these little twisty ties as we see here that allow you to sort of close it up, preventing the chest set from falling out from the bag as you're on the go doing your adventures. And gets the little stickies in case you lose a piece as I've mentioned before. And here's the actual chest set. Okay, um, hopefully everything will be more or less in focus, but over here it has this thing on both sides that says Venture Board. And uh, you get the sort of a little tiny, yeah, so that's the actual board. And uh, it, the pieces are all the same shape, uh, which kind of makes them nice because then, you know, because the pieces are already kind of small, uh, you get a, get a sort of adjusted to being able to pick up the pieces and then you don't have any variation between the shape of the other pieces so as long as you're adjusted to picking up one piece and placing it down then you're already in good hands. Um, in addition to that as we've seen before in some of the other small magnetic chess sets that I've shown you guys like if the pieces are all like variable shape and everything sometimes they might be a little bit harder to pick up and when the when you're dealing with pawns on a small magnetic chess set the pawns are usually like way too small I've, I've talked about that before to where it, it's usually the biggest challenge that I have is picking up the pawns and placing them down but in this case because the shape of the pieces is the same all around I guess it it sort of makes it equally equally easy or equally difficult I guess my biggest pet peeve about any travel chest is the size of the pieces in this case I'd probably say the size well, the size is as big as they can make it for this shape and this construction of a board and I feel like it's not terribly small because each individual piece actually has this sort of a, it has this top as far as the shape. If we look at the side of the chest piece, we see that it kind of goes inward a little bit. So this is our uh, pawn, right? Yep. And the inside goes in and that allows you to be able to kind of grip it a little bit better. Uh, so that y it's easier for you to pick up and on the underside we don't have any felt but we have this one piece of magnet I guess the magnet is relatively strong I'm actually surprised because when I saw the advertisements and I saw that it was like being rolled across the grass I was like no way are these pieces going to be able to stay in their original position but actually um, I've done a few tests and I feel like the magnet is sort of strong enough to prevent the movement of the pieces around that's kind of nice so yeah all the pieces are going to be the same shape the only difference that we will see is well the dark pieces are going to be made out of the dark plastic whereas light pieces are made out of this light plastic and uh, pieces aren't super heavy uh, but they they stick to the board pretty well 
and that sticking to the board will provide good balance for you to be able to play this chess set anywhere in the wind or in any conditions basically. Let me put this piece back. Yeah, so um, here you can see it says venture board and then you do get the notation as you guys can see. Notation will be all around the board. Um, might be a little bit tricky to see, but you have the, the numbers on the sides on both sides and then the letters on the bottom and top. And uh, they they made the pieces big enough to where they, they don't cramp into the other pieces, so they're not like too big for this particular set, but they made them still big enough for you to be able to play. I feel like the biggest frustration with people with any product would be if, if the product is kind of hard to pick up or kind of hard to, to you know, um, handle. But in this case, it's okay. It's, uh, it's actually not as bad as I thought. <laughs> um, as you guys can see right over here on top, you get the additional two queens and then the additional two pieces right over here that are um, extra, basically, if you end up losing because... Let's face it, these pieces aren't super big and there's a chance you might lose a piece or two um, as you, and it's really nice that they provide you with extra just in case, it's really thoughtful of them. So, the way that it works is that on the side you have this very interesting sort of a construction, this idea of the board being able to sort of a roll in as we can see, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys a little bit. As you close each individual compartment, and uh, this is going to be tricky because I'm going to kind of roll this camera around to be able to try to show you guys. Watch this as you close this compartment on itself. I'm doing this only by looking at the camera. Um, it basically does not hit into any other pieces. So we close, we close, we close, and then we close. And when, we, when you open it up, because the pieces don't actually interfere, because of this extra space right here, and because of this hexagonal or whatever you call it construction, the when it l closes in on itself, as you guys can see, like right here, there's space that is created during the closure, right here, see, during the closure, that it allows the pieces of each of these leaflets to not come in contact with the pieces of the next leaflet which is really cool. Now, sometimes I see that right in the middle there where the two, it's kind of, my fo my camera is like, what am I supposed to be focusing on? What is he doing? Uh, right over here, watch this. So you put two, two pawns together, right? Right in the middle. And let's see, when we do close them, they will actually touch each other. See that? Because of that, that middle aspect, is the only aspect that's... Uh, basically well it's not the only but basically I just want to show you guys like if you have two pieces right next to each other they will slightly push each other out and then watch this we get back up the the white one was pushed out a little bit let's try it again see that those two pieces you close it in right there you open it and the white one's been pushed out a little bit it's not terrible but I feel like this probably could have been prevented because we see as it closes the top the top, it's the very top that, that basically hits into each other. It's almost there. And I feel like they it was probably a battle for them when they were constructing this because they wanted the pieces to be as ideal as possible as far as shape. They were battling to make these pieces as big as they can probably for the comfort of the player. But also they didn't want to make them too big to where these pieces would run into each other. So for the most part, for the most part, if you close this up like this, the pieces will actually stay in place where where you uh, where you left them. See, more or less. And when you're playing the game, the idea is that as you're, you know, as you're taking the opponent's pieces or whatever. So, you know, when you play, you pick up the piece and you play like you would a, a small chess set, and you put the pieces on the outside. So the pieces that have been taken or whatever, and then you can still lo close it up. And then when you open it, the piece that was on the outside still remains on the outside. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys here in just a second. I'm, I'm going to roll this board on the floor. And I'll pick it up and we'll take a look and, and see if the pieces actually change 
any any dimensions of where they are because you know that's what the advertisement says is that you can roll this on the grass or whatever i wonder if you throw it to somebody like throw it like a football you roll it up and just throw it like i was actually thinking maybe like i'll throw it to a neighbor while riding on a scooter and see if he can catch it and then like he'll throw it back to me while i'm riding back on a scooter at like 30 miles an hour and then i'll continue my game as if you know that's really adventurous i guess and Something like that could surely be to somebody's fancy. But anyways, yeah, so orange. Orange is the color I chose. You can pay a few a few extra dollars and get the um, gray color. The gray color will be more gray, like kind of like the outside of this box. But I feel like the orange is really nice and sort of very aesthetic because it gives it kind of this sort of a semi-woodsy, semi-futuristic feel to it. And uh, yeah. So no, the, the magnets, as you guys can see, are strong enough to where we're not having issues, at least with flipping the board over. Okay, so just for experimentation reasons, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys, this is gonna be the arrangement as of now, of all the pieces that are just on here. Notice, I mean, that the pieces aren't perfectly arranged at this time on the squares, but, at least let's let's kind of assume that we want to take a look and roll this board and see if the pieces are going to change um, their position okay so I'm gonna go ahead and roll it up and I'm gonna step back a couple of feet I don't want to do this one I don't want to cut this video or anything like that and I'm going to roll it I don't know how far I need to roll it but all right there it rolled okay so there it rolled and I mean it was on a carpet and then we Open it back up and let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, it didn't really change. I guess we could try it again, right guys? Yeah, let's try it again. So we close it up and then we step back. Like I'm not, I'm not editing this video as you guys can see. I'm just gonna, here we go. We're gonna roll, actually it rolls kind of nice. And then we're gonna pick it up. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see. Hopefully this camera will focus. My camera's always having issues focusing. Come on, focus! Let me, I don't know. Come on, there we go. Yeah, as you guys can see, we rolled it a couple of times. Now the rolling was done on a non-bumpy surface, I suppose, that was carpeted. It, this product rolls pretty cool, actually. It just has this really nice balance to it and not that you would want to roll this, but basically the, in, the intention of the video and the intention of this is to show you that the magnetic pull is strong enough for you to be able to carry this around. You're really not going to be rolling this board unless you wanted to do some kind of like bowling with this particular product. Um, but it, it's the magnetic pull is good enough for you to be able to basically put this somewhere in your backpack. And if your game is not finished yet, you could always like come back to your game later on. So that's kind of cool. So at least it, they're kind of delivering what they've advertised. Okay, for my next test, what I would like to do is I would like to actually, well, this test might fail because it wasn't advertised to do that, but I'm just curious. What would happen if I took the same arrangement of the chess pieces you guys can see right over here? And if you, if you need to look in closer, you might want to zoom in, pause and zoom in the video. But, uh, Without any cutting or editing this part, I'm going to take this chest set and throw it up and catch it. Okay, here we go. Good catch, relatively. We're gonna unhook it and yes, so the pieces moved. Not by a lot, but they moved. The down pieces right here, I feel like it was the jarring effect of the, of the hit. The pieces did not dislodge or fall away from where they were, but they have moved quite a bit. So actually catch as well I feel like now the piece has moved a lot more so it's not designed to be thrown um, for our next uh, trial I'm going to open this video and I'm going to toss this across the street no, I'm just I'm not gonna do that um, well so what, what are my conclusions with this I feel like for $50 or so um, it's not a terrible chess set and it's definitely an interesting idea um, as a gift Certainly, because, uh, well, for one, this, this board is being advertised quite a lot recently, so a lot of people might be looking at the advertisements and they might say, 
well, that's kind of neat, but I don't want to spend $50. And then if it, it's their birthday or something, and all of a sudden this ends up being one of their presents, they might be pleasantly surprised because they've already seen this somewhere online and then they're like, whoa, whoa that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm excited because I've seen this advertised. So there you have it. That, that would be a kind of a nice gift. Is this practical? Yeah, I think it might be for people on the go uh, that want to play like classical, you know, physical type of chess games. They also advertise that you can you can put this in your backpack like this, which you can. So you can, it's about the size of a large cup. You can put it in your backpack as you're traveling. And unless you're doing some like heavy jumping, you, if you're just walking, I'm assuming that your chess pieces are gonna remain where they are. So on, on their advertisement, they were like playing in the middle of the game and then one guy goes like, oh, gotta go. And he just stows it and he'd be like, okay, we'll finish this game later. That's kind of cool, but uh, I don't know. I think more of it, more of it is advertisement than anything because I mean, honestly, do you find yourself a lot of times in a situation like that? Maybe, maybe some people, not the majority. The majority will say that's a nifty idea. I might buy it just in case I am in that situation. So like some of the cars and some of the other products that's being sold worldwide that, that has a great, you know, sales pitch of like the possibility of doing something like that um, certainly can get a lot of people to buy the product. Like, Jeep, like my biggest pet peeve is a lot of people that live in town here will buy Jeep Wranglers and like soup them up and make them really big and off-road and stuff but never actually go and do any off-roading. Which, in my opinion, is kind of silly because I wouldn't take a sixty to seventy thousand dollar vehicle and go destroy it in the woods, and so that doesn't make sense. And then for people that basically are buying it for the idea that maybe one day they're going to be adventurous, I don't know. I feel like we got to be more practical, folks. Like, if you want a nice, nice, solid chess set that you want to play. Um, at home and on the go and whatever this this might be it But if you want a chess set that's going to be comfortable to play You want to probably get a bigger one with a bigger board Like I've shown you guys before numerous times maybe like a 2.25 inch board But but they're not travel friendly whereas this is very travel friendly You can have it on the outside some of the, my other magnetic chess sets You would have to put them inside of the backpack, but this one you just put it on the outside and then you can take it out wherever. So let's say you're traveling with a buddy on an airplane or something. You just put it in, walk inside with your carry-on. Boom, take it out. And the nice thing is because of the magnetic pull, you can be like, oh, well, I'm going to make this move. And you, then you can just hand it over to the person. Or you can roll it across the plane. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, I think I think the overall design is really cool and nifty. Uh, will we be seeing more of this particular design? Um, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe not even with chess products, but other products as well. Where like I think this is kind of cool. Um, will this company be, be making more of these chess sets? Very possibly. I'd probably say maybe slightly bigger chess set of this kind of uh, of these kind of properties will allow for you know, uh, more surface area, a little bit bigger board, and maybe slightly bigger pieces, uh, greater, bigger magnets maybe, slightly bigger magnets. You see, the, the thing with the magnets is that the magnets can only be so large, and then the board itself has some kind of metal framework underneath to which the magnet obviously has to be, it has to adhere, okay? And uh, they, if the pieces are small, the magnets are kind of small. If the magnets are small, the magnetic pull is small, so, there's always that battle probably in the design of the chess set. If you make the chess set really big and you can be able to put in bigger bigger magnets in there, then you potentially could run the risk of the magnets having too great of a pull. And if it's too great of a pull and you're sitting there, especially if it's a child or something, well, this product here is designed for 14 plus, which I don't really know why they they put that category. I mean, so why, why not make it 18 plus? Like chess can be played by anybody, but... Um, if it's too great of a pool and, and you have somebody that's young that's playing it and it might be hard to remove the pieces as if they're like glued stuck to the board, yes, you could throw the board around and do whatever, but at the same time, it might not be ideal. So the amount of the magnetic pool has to make sense. And in this case, for playing purposes, you have enough magnetic pool to make the pieces stable pretty much in 
most conditions, windy, rainy, I guess, whatever, um, bumpy, slightly bumpy, but it's not super strong to where it's just, it's a hassle to play. So overall, well-designed product. Um, and I think that I would, I would recommend this. I would recommend this to anybody that's looking for an interesting gift idea. I'd recommend this to people that do travel a lot and um, you know in situations where you might be traveling long distances and you you want something like this to where you're playing against somebody obviously you need two people or you can you can be using this as an analysis board I suppose on like try your travels you can be reading a chess book and you can flip this out if you wanted to analyze a position a little bit better just like with many other chess sets but just because of its convenience and its size overall I feel like it would appeal to a lot of a lot of people going out and traveling so anyways uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video I'm going to attempt at making a couple of more videos within the next week if I can I hope everybody stays safe has a great weekend and stay tuned be sure to subscribe uh, give me some likes for this video it really helps out quite a lot and uh, be sure to comment below okay see you guys later